our house is almost done from the outside if you're looking at it, but just don't go inside the house. Now we're actually getting really, really close to finishing everything on the inside in addition to the 12 month transformation of the facade being just about complete. When we first bought the house, there was a palm tree growing into the balcony of the second level. There were rotten wood posts interwoven with barbed wire on the same balcony, a makeshift security measure that made you feel like you were in jail. There was exposed rebar coming out of the cement ceiling. The electric company meters were built into the house, and apparently that's a no-no. And there wasn't really any street lighting out front. We started with the construction of the ATV garage in January, but the guy working on it quit after two weeks. So it was five more months before another good worker, Armando, came back from a separate job to help us finish it. And then in October, nine months after we started, we hired someone to build the garage door. We spent about $250 in materials to build the garage and $450 in labor. The door was finished at a cost of $325 in materials plus $100 in labor. Armando spent the next three weeks working on our new patio, first removing the old wood posts and that awful looking barbed wire, and then he began adding about two more feet of wall to the patio using cinder blocks, which only cost about seven pesos a piece. He was halfway through the wall when we realized that we needed to have columns built every 10 feet between the cinder blocks along the wall to strengthen it. So that caused a little bit of a delay. We also added electrical wiring to the new wall for the security fence, street lights, and cameras. We removed the old tile flooring so we could put in nice new floors. We spent about $200 on materials for the new wall and $650 in labor tearing out the old wood fencing, building the new wall, and preparing the floor for the new tile. Here guys are putting in a sheetrock ceiling to cover the exposed pipes for the bathroom above and the finished, almost finished tile work uh, on the patio. It only took Armando about a week to prepare the front of the house for painting and the cost was about $250 in materials and labor. Paint is a bit expensive here, in my opinion, with a five gallon bucket, or uh, also called a cubeta, costing around $125. The primer that Ali is applying here costs a little bit less at $60 or $65 for a five gallon cubeta. In total, we spent around $300 in paint for the front of the house, and Allie and I did all of the painting here. Allie chose these colors based off of um, a house that we saw in Colombia, and uh, we thought the combo of the, the mostaza, the mustard, and the teal looked really good together. We added um, some wood shutters to the bathroom on the top floor, and almost all of the glass windows have been installed. It's finally beginning to look like home. Thanks for watching. Take care.